right, we are back with a Create a 5M framework this time. We're going to be working inside of the base, uh, basically uh, giving a little revamp, helping out for the new players, uh, the new creation of a player, as well as uh, basically making everything go a little quicker on that early end so you don't have to keep uh, calling everything or uh, removing stuff, I would say. Um, so we're taking a look at our SQL file right now. We're going to have to add something in here, but I'll just basically export it. I'm uh, showing you guys how to do it in XAMPP first, and then uh, this will be updated. Uh, this might be a shorter uh, video, depending how long we are going to take. I'm going to sort of try to explain myself a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so I opened up my XAMPP first off. I clicked on Admin, so that leaves us here. I selected MP Framework, and we click, click SQL. And basically, how I learned how to do this, I literally Googled. I Googled, Googled to help me. You could see it up here basically tells me what I'm going to do. Um, but what we're going to do is alter a table, uh, this table being players. So we can grab that right here. Uh, and now we could even go back to here. Um, we could do new Boolean. So Boolean default to true. And let's see what it doesn't like. Doesn't like that. I wonder if that's new. Oh, I got, we got to add a column first, don't we? Add column new. Uh, Boolean default to true and set like that. I believe. There we go. So, um, basically what this does is we go in here, and just scroll all the way through, and a Boolean value is just one and two. For people that don't know, uh, it's just one one or two. So this we're defaulting it to one because on creation, uh, that's that's what we're grabbing. We're on creation, we're gonna grab if you are new. And we can now go into the code, and I can show you a little bit. So uh, in here, I guess we could just add, would this be this would be do so let's be new and then this would be boolean default of true just like so and that should be it i'll just double check that and make sure we don't have to change anything but that's mainly that part so now we want to work into our i believe this is in our character db and let's just double check Where's our load character? Yes, it is. So on our load character, we actually did a few things here. So we need to basically grab and see if they're new. So on load character, we grab the we grab the source, we grab the player data, all that is staying. But right outside of here, we're not just gonna load the player. We're gonna check if they're new or not new. Um, so how we do this is um we're just going to grab an export here, which is basically the same export we've been using. It's just going to grab a citizen ID uh, and so on, just like that. Okay. Um, and do, and then we got to have an end in here. So we'll correctly do this. And what this is doing here is it's going to grab from the database where one, our identifier equals identifier. So it grabs all of our identifier, all of our CID. And now this is where, and I should have word wrap on. I actually should, but uh, I'll just click a space right here. So now this is what we're gonna do if it is true. So we're calling result at the end. So we're gonna do this. So we're gonna do if uh, result uh, selected of one dot new um, equal equals to one. So this is if, basically if result is new equals one, which means yes, it is a new player because we set default to true. So if default is set to true, then what we're, we are going to do, we're gonna add a print here for now. So we're gonna add a print. Um, actually, we could add a log. We could add a log for Discord if we wanted to. But for right now, we're just gonna print new player. Uh, um, and then we will have our load player, just like that. And then we need to update, update them. So we're basically gonna set our new we're going to basically set new to uh what's it called to zero 
So how we're gonna do this, I, I'm gonna write this actually with everyone because uh, this, I mean, it's basically the same thing. So we're gonna do exports and ghmaddy mysql, just like so, colon execute. And in here, we're gonna do a update in all caps players because that's our uh, database name or database table name that we're going to do. set new equal to at new at new where and then we basically copy where identifier equals this so space where identifier equals identifier and PID and we're going to be copying this portion as well. So in here we're going to copy this portion just make sure everything is good identifier equals identifier and CID equals CID. Now, uh, instead of right after the comma, I should say, we are going to do this at new. And we're just going to set this to equal to zero, just like that. And whoops, forgot the bracket. So comma new, and then right outside of here, we're going to do the close query bracket. And that's going to update it. So it is now set to zero. Um, and in here, uh, we basically have a couple things in load player that we're going to have to change for this to actually work. Um, for an example, uh, we can talk about it now, uh, but well, I code this. So it, else if basically result equals new uh, equals zero. Uh, so we're going to have to change things like spawning. We're going to default them spawn to the airport and we're going to default it to open a clothing menu. That's not going to cost any money. Uh, or we could have it cost money if we really wanted to, but uh, that just really defeats the purpose. So we're going to do else if this, and we can do this as well. So not new player, but this is going to tell us to load a spawn. Just like that. And that's really going to be it um, for our database. Um, Yeah. But now we have, let's see. We don't have, oh. no. We should be fine with, what's it called? We should be fine with, let me think, dude. I gotta think now. Uh, creating a new character. I believe since default's already set to zero, it should automatically put in zero. So I don't believe we need to add it here. Um, but we could always test that later and just make double check. Basically, double checking isn't bad at all. Um, so we could we could definitely check for that. Okay, so now we're gonna go into our functions uh, for loading our player and just double check what's on here. So, okay, yes. So what we can do here actually, we could add another. Because we're grabbing CID here and then it's loading all the data. Okay, so what we're going to add here, we're just going to add new. Um, so going to here, we're going to have to go back. Um, since new is automatically defaulted here, we set this to one. And for here, we could just set it to zero because that's what numbers we're using. So two, 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 we do that. And basically, okay. Okay, so let's see, load character and then load player. So right before load player, we can grab if it is a new player and we're loading the data, getting a player, setting their data here, that's fine. And then player loaded. So let's go to player loaded real quick. So let's go into here. Where, where is this at? Player loaded. So we're gonna search for this um, and right here, Okay, so this is for the clothing. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All makes sense. So let's go back and see in our spawn. Where are we calling our spawn to open up? So we're calling open menu. So we're gonna search for this because this is the main thing that we actually need here. So open menu on select character. And UI callback select character. We're gonna actually take this out, I believe. And let's just double check in here. 
but it's not in here. So it's not, not in here at all, which is perfectly fine, actually. Um, so basically what we're going to do in theory, in theory here, uh, 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 so we're loading a player. So player loaded right here. Um, so this loads the player on here and with loaded player, where's this at? Oh, do we not, we just don't have anything for this. What is this for? Player loaded. Oh, dude, I'm stupid. I'm actually dumb. This, we literally just talked about this. This is for the clothing. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is do, do, do inside of here. Um, we're going to do a, actually we could do it. We could do it in selecting player. I didn't even think about that. Where is our selected player, selected player. So right here, so we can grab data and it grabs data.cid right here. So this grabs data. So what we can do is local is new for an example equals data dot new. Um, and this just selects your character. So we grab this and we could put this in a tuna and we don't really need to, but basically uh, then we could do a, if is new, then uh, end or else end. So if is new, we're not gonna trigger this. So we could do in this, in this else, we do this. And we're gonna cut this all out. Um, server select CID, where, what is this? What is this? Let's go back to here and just double check. So we're loading the character. Okay, so it just grabs the CID slot. Okay, perfect. So what we are gonna do, then do selecting character equals false. Um, instead of triggering this though, however, we are going to go back into our spawn and do, 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 do. Let's go into one, two, 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 two. scripts.js and functions spawn. Okay. So we're going to create a variable for this so that we could just call this right here. So spawn button, spawn name, grabs our location. Okay. Perfectly fine here. Uh, what we're going to do is a new I callback spawn data. So what we're actually in, could we do this? Is this messed up if we do this? Mm. Dude, it might be, hmm. There might be an easier way of doing this. But let me double check real quick. Let me go on to Google, do a quick Google. Okay, I see what we can do. Let's just double check this. See if we can do this. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to look at that. So that's gonna probably be next video because I don't want to load you up with just 20 minutes of me trying to figure something out. Uh, but in theory, uh, also if, if you know, just leave a comment. I probably already figured it out by then, but just leave a comment on how you would do it. Uh, basically, I'm going to end up creating a is new column here, and then it just defaults you to the spawn of airport. Uh, and we could add that in somewhere else, but that's my theory. Uh, anything else in the base that we are going to do is possibly going to be in. Let me just show. It's going to be possibly deleting in characters. Yeah. So I believe we could actually just do delete from star where citizen ID equals citizen ID. Uh, but I'm going to comment this out and then we could just, I could test this later. Uh, so it's just going to be delete from star. And in theory, uh, this should remove everything connected where citizen ID. Uh, that's the theory. If not, we could always change that. But we'll see you on the next one. The next one's going to be a little more base stuff and uh, 
yeah, it's going to be another little base episode, uh, getting everything fixed up and then going into the server and making sure we have everything right. But thank you for watching. See you on the next one.